everybody. Thanks for being back with me. So I have a really fun art activity idea for you guys. And this art, we're going to produce a symmetrical painting. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys a word if you don't know it yet. And the word is symmetry. Symmetry is when something is the same on both sides. Something like butterflies, right? When we think of butterfly wings, we think of them as the same on both sides. And when something is very much the same on both sides, we call that thing symmetrical. So we're gonna make a symmetrical painting today. And I'm using the primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. Because if you have these three colors and you have black and white, you can make any color in the world. This is where it starts with the primary colors. Primary means first. And they're kind of the first colors because they make all the other colors. All right, so I'm gonna put my paint over here. And now what I have done, I've taken two canvas boards and I taped them together. You don't have to use canvas boards. You could use poster board or card stock or cardboard, anything like that. Just make sure it's a little sturdy because regular paper doesn't work so great with. So anyway, I taped two canvas boards together and I've got some rope in my paint, see? You could use yarn or string or chain, pretty much anything like long like that will work. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my rope, I'm gonna start with my yellow rope. And I'm gonna put my yellow rope on my canvas like this. And then I'm gonna close my canvas and I'm going to pull out my yellow rope. Oh, there. So that's my yellow. Put that right there. Let's see what it looks like with just the yellow. Whoa, that's pretty cool. It's almost symmetrical. So after yellow, let's do, let's do our red. So I'm gonna take my red rope and I'm gonna put it on like that and close it up. I'm gonna pull out the red rope. So I'm using tempera paint. Just about any kind of paint will work. Watercolor is not the best, but, but you could try watercolors. I'm gonna pull out my red rope. Ooh. I like to move it around to cover more space. And there's my red rope. Let's see what this looks like. And it's okay if you get a little messy. It's kind of what art is about, right? I feel like if you're not getting messy, you're not having fun. Whoa! Check that out. That's pretty cool. All right. Now let's do our blue. Blue. This is my favorite color. I love blue. Blue like the sky. Blue like the ocean on a bright sunny day. Things that make me happy. Woo! Alrighty then. Close it up. Pull out the string. And move it around. Oh. A little bit this way. You know, maybe I'll go back a little bit more the other way. And there's my blue string. Okay. I'm gonna pat it a little bit just to make sure that the paint is on both sides. Are right, you guys ready to see this? Let's see. Whoa! Look at that. That's pretty cool. Now we only used red, yellow, and blue, but look a little closer. Do you guys see any orange? 
Maybe it's a little greenish action happening. When you mix your primary colors, you get lots of different colors. All right, guys, so if you want, you can try something like this with the help of a grown-up or an older friend. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a really good time. Keep being creative, like dancing, painting, singing, and have a really great time doing it. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.